jump starting right into the tutorial we are using the top brow by kiss ny um this is a full drug tour drug store <laughs> tutorial as you can see by the title and all of these products are um drug store so yeah you guys are going to gag because i actually got some really good products so I'm just taking my normal brow utensil, my angle brush, and I am just making hair-like strokes, the usual routine. I do have a brow tutorial on my channel, so you can go watch that if you want like full blown out <laughs> eyebrow tutorial. I did kind of change the way that I do my brows. I no longer like go on top of my brows and carve them out. I only carve them out on the um, bottom part. And then I kind of do make a little tail right there because I do want my tail to be pretty defined and like skinny. And so, but as far as like going on top of my brows, I no longer do that. I just make hair like strokes and this brow product look at my brows <laughs> they look really good so the product when i first was using it i did kind of i'm not gonna lie i did have to like dig in the product but overall i really did like the way that my brows turned out and then i'm just taking my la girl pro concealer in the shade i started off using like warm honey but i didn't really like it it kind of had like a pink undertone so i switched back to my normal um shade which is cool tan and i'm just carving out my brows i really feel like this product looked really good and it's really good for someone who's a beginner because you know you don't have to worry about taking out too much and your brows looking too harsh and of course using the spoolie to brush out my brows and make sure that they are blended and boom bomb brows and so now I'm taking the cool tan and I am just priming my eyes, same concealer. And I forgot to mention that the brow product that I use, only $4.99, so go get it. It's kind of like the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills Dip Brow. And I got it from my local beauty supply house, so that's a good dupe. And then I'm taking the Maybelline City Mini Palette. Like, aren't these palettes so cute? I think they are so cute and compact you can literally travel with them and take them anywhere on the go the colors were really pretty like okay maybelline and this was like a like nude shade but it didn't really do much for my eyes so i just skipped it and went to this brown shade and i just started blending it the color i'm not gonna lie it was a little hard to move i was dancing here no telling what i was listening to but um, it was a little hard to move the product around, but it wasn't that annoying. Like, it wasn't, like, that bad to where I wouldn't, like, recommend it. But I really would recommend this for, like, a beginner as well because look at, you saw all the, like, different colors. And you don't have to exactly do this look, but they have, like, shimmery shades to where you can just, like, pop that on really quick. And then they also have, like transition shades and i think it's just really compact and really cute so i'm just still blending the color out and then i'm taking this orange shimmery shade and i am just carving out i'm doing like a half cut crease kind of and i'm just really packing on that color Honestly, you can like have it to where it's like subtle, like how it is now, or you can be extra like me. <laughs> and I added some Fix Plus spray or Mario Badesco. It was one of those sprays. Any setting spray that you have, add it on there to your shimmer shade, add it onto your brush, and that'll make the shade look way more like pigmented if that's what you want but if not then of course don't add that but if you want a little bit more pigmentation then definitely i would say add some type of spray that you have and i'm still packing more on because i really wanted it to be very like shimmery 
and very pigmented. And these um, palettes, I'm not sure how much I paid for it, honestly. I looked it up online and it said they were only like $5, but I don't know how true that is, so don't quote me. I believe they're like $6.99, $7.99. I don't know. So, but they're under $10. They're affordable. And they also have like, of course, different, like, different combos, different, so you don't have to get this exact one. They have other ones with pretty golds and just other pretty colors. So definitely check out these City Mini palettes. And then I'm taking the NYX Studio Liquid Liner. And I did kind of speed this up because I already have a tutorial on my channel on how, to, how I do my um, liquid liner. So I'll put that in the description box if you want to see that. And this is in the shade Extreme Blue. Of course, if you don't want to put blue liner on, you don't have to. You can use black liner if you want to recreate this look, but don't want the blue. But I am just the most, so I added blue. And I was feeling the blue liner. I love colored liners. So, same routine. And moving forward to lashes, I'm taking the Ilora X Jasmine Brown lashes in the style JB. Guys, I really like these lashes. I was like, okay, Jazz, come through. These are really cute. These are about like $7.99. And I got mine from Target. And I just want to say, like, don't let the packaging or how they look on the outside fool you because they can look completely different on your eyes. And that was definitely the case with these lashes. So I am glad that I got them. When I saw them, I was like, whoa, I don't know if these would like look right on me. I have hooded eyes, so I have to be very particular on lashes that I get. But these were pretty bomb. Like, look at these. So cute. And now the review that everyone has been waiting for. I am using the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. And it is set to last for 24 hours. And they have 16 shades and it retails for about $10. So very affordable. And this foundation, like Maybelline has these other drugstore brands shaking. This foundation I really loved. It was very full coverage and very matte. So if you have oily skin, then you are going to love this foundation. But I also feel like if you have dry skin, then it's not that like matte to where you would hate it. Um, I love that it was very full coverage. I was using this shade Warm Sun. I'm not going to return this one, but I am going to get another shade just so I can compare make sure that this one is my true shade i was kind of stuck between i'm not going to get toffee but i was stuck between toffee and warm sun but i just felt like warm sun i mean toffee was like dull and it gave and i didn't want that like muddy look so i really loved how this foundation blended in with my concealer, the LA Pro Girl Concealer in Cool 10. It just really gave me that flawless finish.
I tried to bake with the LA Pro contour powder. It comes with a lighter shade for baking and a darker shade for contouring. And as you can see here, I was not feeling it. It was like too pink. So I went on to use my airspun powder in the, it's the translucent one. And so I'm just dusting off that baking powder. And for the LA Pro contour powder that I use, it's in this shade 10 and it retails for $4.99. And you can see, look at how pigmented that powder was. I was so shocked, like it did not come to play. I could not believe, like I was like so shocked. I did not think that it would be that pigmented. I thought I would have to use, I was just trying to like think of ways <laughs> to like get all of that powder off of my brush. I did dig into it, but that's because I didn't think it would be that pigmented. So definitely had to use a lighter hand when it came to my other side of my face. And now for my favorite part, the highlighting part, I'm using my all-time fave drugstore highlighter. It is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter, you guys. Like, if you have not got on this, then get on it now. Like, go get it. This, look at me. I just look so refreshed like I love this highlighter this is the best drugstore highlighter like I just want to like stock up on it and buy like a million of them just in case they try to like I don't know discontinue it or something but I don't think they will it is so perfect then I'm taking the Milani Luminoso blush that I have been dying to try and I liked it and I really love how this look came out and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next one.